Today I'm going to share how to do the 2D layout planning of a room. And this is going to be the rough sketch, so all you really need is a blank piece of paper or something to write on, something to write with, and a measuring tape. Now before I even start measuring, I look at the room around me and I draw kind of the basic shape. So I'm going to do that. And once I have that drawn, I also draw some obstacles, like I know that this is where I'm standing right now, there's a door behind me, and then I'm staring out a window, and there's closet. And again, this is all before I've even measured anything, so I have the basic shape and kind of my obstacles or whatever else is in the room that I need to include on my plan. Now from there, I'm going to grab my measuring tape, and I'm going to do the measurements around the room, and then I'm going to input them wherever I have my walls. So let me show you how that looks. Today I'm only concerned with the actual 2D floor plan of the room, so the length and width. If you do have to measure heights for things, for example, if you're planning furniture, if you want to know where your light switches are, if you're doing any sort of wall treatments, then it is important to have the height, especially height under windows, whatever it is. But for now I'm just doing a simple floor plan, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my measuring tape and keep it on the ground and go from one wall to another. Now obviously the baseboards could affect your measurements, but I find it a lot easier just to have my measuring tape on the floor and that way I don't have to hold it up in the air. And right now with this first wall, we're at exactly seven feet. So I'm just gonna write that down on my piece of paper. And then staying along on this first wall, I'm gonna also measure the part to the door, so that's four inches. And then the door itself is 30 inches. So I'm going to write those two measurements down on my piece of paper as well. So now I'm going to go around the rest of the room and measure all the other walls and input them on my paper. Once I have all the rough outlines and all the measurements drawn up, I can then transfer this to graph paper or maybe even a computer program to make a better graphic representation. As you can see, you know, I drew my window here and I wrote this is 11 inches and this 52 inches, but it's not really to scale. So this is perfect for getting a rough idea of what your room looks like. And then we're going to transfer it over to make a better version. Another thing you might want to measure out is the furniture in your room, especially if you know that there's furniture that's going to be staying, or possibly that you're moving it to a different location or a different room, you still might need the dimensions. So similar to measuring out the room, only you're going to be measuring the furniture, making sure to get the widest part. So this is about 16 inches by 36 inches. And I'm just going to write it down over here, make a little square, 16. 36 dresser and if we are concerned with the height we can also measure the height and we're about 37 and a half and I just write that down height 37 and a half so again this is just going on a little square that's outside of my room and it's not to scale but we'll be covering that next week.